Good morning, everyone. Good Chodesh. Today, it is Thursday, January 14th. It is Rosh Chodesh Shavat, the first day of Shavat. And I hope everybody is going, having a good Rosh Chodesh. and wish everybody uh, should be a healthy and prosperous Chodesh and a good month for us all as we see lots of light, hopefully at the end of the tunnel. Um, I was Zoch yesterday. Uh, I got my place in line. I was able to get the uh, COVID vaccine. Yesterday, my arm was a little sore, but Baruch uh, thank God for the miracles of science, gifts from God. I was able to receive the uh, inoculation, uh, the first stage, and I hope that uh, in due time, and again, in a month's time, we'll be able to get the second shot. And of course, you know the very bad rabbinic joke, we say that when you get the second one, it's called Chazaras Hashatz. Okay, uh, today we had the, uh, the privilege of celebrating our second Bar Mitzvah of the week, but uh, Jonah Reber became Bar Mitzvah today. Actually, today, Bo Bayom, today was his Hebrew birthday. He put on this tefillin, and he laned in shul for a shchodesh in front of his family and friends, and it was really such a beautiful celebration here in shul. And mazel tov to Sarah and to Mike, older sisters, uh, Emma, younger sister, Sasha, and uh, Jonah, really, we're super, super proud of you. And I was uh, so glad to be a part of your simcha. And, of course, your family, uh, the Reber family and the Klibana family go back uh, quite, quite a long time, all the way probably to the early 70s, uh, when my older sister and Micah were in the same class, have been friends ever since. And of course, uh, Michael having served our community as mayor of Livingston, uh, but perhaps more importantly as uh, most recent president of our shul, co-president together with Jeff Suskin. So to Sarah and Mike and to the entire extended family, Mazel Tov, and I want to dedicate today's Devar Torah in Jonah's honor. Uh, Jonah, one thing we know, does not like attention. He, he certainly doesn't like a crowd, and he is probably, as I mentioned in shul this morning, he's probably the only person I know that was happy that he had a COVID bar mitzvah because it didn't have to be in front of a lot of people. That's fine. That's great. But I want to share this Devar Torah. Something, it's, it's my favorite, favorite Rosh Chodesh Devar Torah ever of all time. Put me on a stranded island, and you would ask, strand me on an island, say you can have you know only a few Devar Torahs with you. You know, we do that with your favorite album or book or whatever. Devar Torah, this would definitely be up there with it. And it comes from the introduction to a sefer known as Ein Yaakov. Ein Yaakov, some of you may know, is a sefer that goes through all the agadic portions of the Talmud. The Talmud, which is quite lengthy, when you study Dafayomi, it takes seven and a half years doing one folio a day, two pages of Talmud a day. Um, it takes seven and a half years, but much of the Talmud is halachic in nature, arguing back and forth, what's the law, what's this, what do we do in this situation, what about that situation? But there is also a good portion of the Talmud, which is known as Agada, which is uh, stories and uh, different sayings of different rabbis and things that happen, etc., uh, medical procedures, all types of things that are not really halachic in nature. And that's why we call it Agada, Agadic in nature. And the Ein Yaakov is a sefer written by um, Rav Yaakov ben Shlobo ibn Chaviv, who is, I'm just looking at his dates, 1445 to 1516. 1445 to 1516 uh, is when he, he lived. And he sort of culled together and had a commentary on all of the Agadic portions. So in his Hakdama, in the introduction to his magnum opus, he quotes a teaching. Not sure exactly where it comes from, different opinions of where it comes from, but I'll just read a few as, as follows. Ben Zoma Omer, Matzinu Pasach Kolol Yoser. So there are a few rabbis who have the question, what is the one verse in the Torah that encapsulates the essence of what it means to be a Torah Jew or what it means to be a good Jew? So the first opinion is Ben Zoma, and he says, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. I mean, if I don't ask you, what's the most important Pasach in the Torah, most important verse? Somebody say, Shema Yisrael, it makes a lot of sense. We say it every single day, it's Kabbalah's Ol Machus Shemayim, we're accepting the yoke of heaven. This is the, the phrase, the Pasuk that was on the lips of so many of our holy and dear martyrs when they went to their deaths, Shema Yisrael. Benana Somer, Matzina Pasuk Kol El Yosef, Vewa Bahavta Lorecha Kamocha. Benana says, no, I have a, a Pasuk that's even, a, a, even more important, a verse that is more encapsulating, and that is, Love thy neighbor like thyself. Vehavta Lorecha Kamocha. It's great that you have the service of God and accepting the yoke of heaven, but you also have to be a good person. You have to be nice to other people. And the third opinion that's mentioned, Ben Pazi Omer, Shimon Ben Pazi Omer, 
Matinu pasuk kol al yoser v'hu es hakeved hakeves echad tasev aboker veis hakeves hashani tasev ben harabayim. Shimon ben Pazi quotes a pasuk that we read this morning in the Rosh Chodesh laning. It's from Parshas Pinchas when it talks about the daily offering, and he had to bring a certain animal baboker in the morning, and one you had to bring in the afternoon. And he said that's the pasuk that you had to bring. That's the pasuk that encapsulates the essence of being a Jew. Omad Rabbi Ploni al Raglov, Omar Halacha Kibim Pazi. And in the introduction here, he concludes in this Tanaitic teaching that they said that who was right? Ben Pazi. Shimon Ben Pazi. Why? I mean, Shema Yisrael, it's a pretty good Pasuk, accepting the yoke of heaven. It's the Pasuk, it's the Pasuk that every Jew knows. It's what we say uh, when you leave this world. Or maybe Vahafta Lorecha Kamocha, you have to love your neighbor like thyself. And yet, we say, no, it's Shimon Ben Pazi. Who says, no, you have to bring this offering in the morning, you have to bring this offering in the afternoon. And the insight is quite brilliant. And that is that if you want to be a good Jew, you have to show up. You have to do the same thing every morning and every afternoon and every evening. And you have to daven every day and you have to keep kosher every day and you have to keep Shabbos every week and you have to learn Torah every day. The beauty of Judaism is not found in the lofty grand moments of Shema Yisrael or doing an act of kindness for someone else, though those are important, don't get me wrong. But the real importance of Judaism, the essence of Judaism, what makes us continue from generation to generation, it's what we do every single morning, what we do every single night. The examples that we set every single day through, you might call it rote behavior, but it's program behavior, it's how we daven, it's how we learn, it's how we act. And in that is incorporated Shema Yisrael. So Jonah, today on your bar mitzvah, I want you to understand and embrace the routine of Judaism. And you have a great example to follow. Your parents who have taken leadership positions, who spend their life, both of their lives, helping others in the medical field, making sure that other people are healthy, but also at the same time, ensuring that you have a proper Jewish education. Leading by example by your father, going to shul every morning and every night, and studying Torah every day and every night. The most important thing that you can do is to show up, is to do those routines every single morning and every day. Put on your tefillin every day, and study Torah every day, and remember who you are every day, and kiss your mother every day, and all the beautiful things that Judaism has to offer. When some people might think that it's root and boring, etc., we see in that a tremendous amount of beauty. If you do that, Jonah, I'm convinced that you're going to be a wonderful Jew because you're already a great Jew. That's the lesson that you have for your bar mitzvah, and that's why your bar mitzvah, your birthday is today, Rosh Chodesh Shavat, and that's why you read today. And this is the example, I think, that you're going to set for all of us going forward from this day and every day following, each and every morning, each and every night. So Sarah and Mike, mazel tov to you. Thank you so much for allowing us to be part of your simcha. Thank you for sponsoring our video today, our ability to share Torah with the broader community. Jonah, we look forward to hearing great, great things from you. Uh, we may not hear it with our ears, but we will hear it, we will see it, because we know that you're going to be a great, great Jew, and great things will come forward from you. So enjoy this day, lots of nachas, mazel tov, and remember, it's the routine of every day that makes us great, not the great moments that make us great. Mazel tov.